Let's see what we can make out of spare parts. Hello YouTube. Well, last time we saw the DRC got rolled off. So now it's time to switch over to a new chassis to work on. We have options. We got three low C chassis and we got three DR10s. Which one should we do? Both of them kind of got some stuff done to them already. So I think we'll choose this one. Well, we managed to save a few things from the chassis anyways. We got uh, Team Associated version 2 shocks. They seem to be pretty good shape. Only thing that we got to replace is the new end on this one. That one snapped off, but I see his replacement. Um, let's see. Both body posts are still good. New Exotech transmission. Got uh, the one up racing diff locker in there. Only problem is, is we snapped the hardened steel shaft off the top. But it just so happens, I have another one of those kicking out somewhere else too. But we'll see what else we can uh, salvage from what's left of this chassis. Hoping that I can get the shock towers. For sure. Hopefully those will mount onto the stock uh, DR10 chassis, we'll see. First things first, let's get this transmission ripped apart and make sure nothing else is wrong with it. Drive cups still look good. It doesn't look like there's any wear in there, so I don't worry about switching those out at all. I do know the one drive shaft got folded in half in the impact, but that should be okay. Alright, let's see what she looks in there. Pull the top off. No, no damage done there. No case damage that I can see. Nice and pretty. So yeah, looks like the only damage done is this top shaft, so we'll quickly slide that out. Slap in the new one, just like that, she's good to go. Oh, make sure the bearings are still there, yep, bearings still in the case. Didn't show it on camera, but we put a little bit of new uh, one-up racing gold grease in there. Just so she stays nice and looped. The other thing you gotta look, look out for with these Exotech uh, cases is you only want these screws snugged. I've heard of people online having problems with the transmission binding because the screws are too tight on this. Sounds like it's more or less warp in the case. Um, I'll just finger it in first. Go back in and tighten it up. Should 
Okay, good. No. I'll make sure it's all nice and clean. Still got the. Ooh. Got the speed secrets bearings in there, so it spins real nice. All right, so next on the list, let's get that shock fixed so we don't have to worry about that later. Nope. There it is. Move that, easy peasy. That spring is stuck. It's just snapped off there. Get her all cleaned up so she looks nice and pretty again. using a microfiber cloth so I don't score up the shaft. Alright, let's get this broken in. Alright, just like that. No scratches. Got her off nice. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can salvage these uh, shock towers and reuse them on the donor chassis. So we got this carbon fiber one on. No cracks, looks perfectly fine. Now we'll see if it fits onto the other chassis. All right, let's get this shock tower off now. Unfortunately, as you can see, I don't know if you can get a good view of it, the sway bar took one hell of a hit, so that's going to have to be replaced. There's a stop one on my other DR10, though. Other than that, looks like she's in good shape. Might want to take that off, though. All right, off camera, I ended up getting the car finished cleaned up, so we got a nice good base to start with. Now it's time to slowly start tearing this down and see what we can do. Got the rear shock tower off. We will see if the carbon fiber one and the standoffs fit for that in a little bit. Now, finish getting this transmission out. Alright. 
questions out. Uh, she's looking pretty bare bones now. We'll get that fixed up real quick. We'll get the backing plate put on the transmission. Looks like we got the transmission all installed now. That should be it for today. Stay tuned for part two.